Welcome everyone to the final part of Modern Escapism's The Last of Us spoiler cast. And this time we've got a bumper episode because joining us, as usual, is Oodles. Hello. We don't have Stig this week because he's busy, but we've replaced him with two people who are arguably equal to him. Uh, we have Candy Machine. Hello. And Big Eason. I made a spoiler cast. Yay! You mean something. the two of us are equal to one Stig? I, I will let you work that out for yourselves. <laughs> I'll, answer, I'll answer it. It means yes. <laughs> no, everybody on this podcast is equal. Some are more equal than others. Anyway, Animal Farm aside, uh, yes, we are back to talk about the last three episodes of the first season of The Last of Us, uh, which ro- rocketed through much faster than I expected. I don't know why. It's been nine weeks since the start, and we just absolutely blasted through it. So... But before we get into those, because we haven't heard Candy and Biggie's thoughts on this one, what what are you guys? What were your guys' thoughts on the first six episodes? Just briefly. Not seen it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think obviously, like everyone's saying, probably episode three was a highlight. But at the same time, it's like they spent so much time on that story that it almost felt like the rest was a little bit rushed in comparison. Um. But yeah, no, I, I don't have very many complaints at all about it. Excellent. And Biggie? Yeah, I mean, for a, a video game adaption last weekend, one thing I did forget to mention was that I watched Uncharted for the first time. And yeah, just as adaptions go, it didn't even need to be an Uncharted movie. It didn't need that name <laughs> attached to it. And then you take something like this that stuck so closely to the source material um, impressed me because it shows that if you've got it there, you don't need to change too much to still deliver what everyone was expected. I love yeah. that. Absolutely. So, yeah, last time we left off after episode six, which was Kin, where Joel ended up stabbed and falling off a horse. Didn't As see that do. coming. Yeah. Stand, stand Saturday night around Newcastle, huh? Um <laughs> So we pick up with episode seven, Left Behind. So Ellie uh, is caring for Joel as they shelter in an abandoned house as winter gets worse. Uh, Joel's kind of circling the drain a little bit and he kind of urges Ellie to leave him. And then we get the flashback to when Ellie, about, well, it's earlier that year, isn't it? It's not a year ago, it's earlier that year. Ellie's in a Fedra military school. Uh, and she, for some reason, has a Walkman. I don't, I don't know why she has a Walkman. That seems like a random thing for her to have, but okay. Um, she gets in trouble for fighting because uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the popular girls or something steals it from her, and she beats the shit out of her. Um, and we get introduced to her best friend, Riley, who, I can't remember who played Riley. Uh, Storm Reed played Riley. She sneaks in the window. Yeah, she sneaks in the window of the room that they shared and invites her off for a a brilliant night out. Night out on the town. Night out in the QZ. Mm. And we get to the shopping mall. And I thought this was quite a lovely episode. I know loads of people didn't seem to like this one. I did too. I'm with you on this. I think it it, it breaks up the pace of things a little bit because, I mean, if you remember the Left Behind DLC, which is obviously this is telling the story of, is two sides of it because the you have in that one you have Ellie in the current times trying to trying her best to save Joel and dealing with clickers and raiders and stuff. Yeah, she's, and then she's this reminiscing story about it in the winter segment, isn't she? Yeah, but yeah, so the, the, it's not the paciest episode, I guess I could say, but it's absolutely fucking lovely. I think it should and have been a webby webby sewed. A, a, a webby sewed. All I was you thinking in two thousand and three. All I was thinking about is oh, I just want to get back to the. Uh, just want to get back. Just want to get back. I get that, but it is an important part of the story, and I think it delivered more about showing. You know, again, a, a brilliant performance by Bella Ramsey, just to show a little bit more how steely she's becoming, what made her who she is, why she's tougher, and isn't afraid of everything around her. Because don't forget, it's an escort mission at the end of the day. So yeah, you no. Know, unfortunately, women are normally portrayed in things like this as really weak and stuff like that, and they need to be protected. Whereas she's actually she can hold her own, and you, you can see the emotions, what made her character. And I really liked. It. I thought it was brilliant myself. Mm. It was an interesting one for me because this is the the first time that I haven't. I, I never played the DLC, so to me, it right. was oh, it, okay. it was a nice reveal. How did for you me. post your photos on Twitter though? 
That was such a big thing when that DLC drop went in. Right. <laughs> Everyone just said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see that on the, on the podcast, but I'm doing the typical photo yeah. faces. Oh, God, I found, I'm pretty flashed. sure if you had the eye toy as well, you could put your own face in it. Yeah, I think you could, which is a really <laughs> random interaction with the tech. Me, <laughs> Riley, and Ellie. <laughs> well, it's it's forever. Yeah. The awkward third wheel. <laughs> yeah. Really too, much, too, too old to be hanging around with these kids, <laughs> especially then as well. Oh, dear. Yeah, there, there, there were lots of lovely moments in it as kind of Riley's leading Ellie around the shopping mall, giving like the best night and like five different surprises. I love that they had the Mortal Kombat 2 machine in there. That was ah, that, that now, was very good. Y- you might like that. And you were uh, nostalgia goblins love that. I was annoyed they didn't do what the DLC did, where in the DLC the game didn't work and Riley told her to close her eyes and she told her what we were doing and she had that like daydream about it, didn't she? Yeah. no, And I, mean, I think that's that's they were a- more beautiful. I think so, but I think that also works more in the context of the game rather than in this. It, it, it's much simpler for them to just show it. And they couldn't the get the rights for Mortal Kombat in the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it showed Riley's effort to make it a top night, so she got everything working that needed to be, so hence she got the machine to work, so they could play the game. Yeah. And plenty of quarters for it, too. But the watch the, past um, Time Crisis. fuck's wrong with them? <laughs> <laughs> I, My I would... issue with that was they were making just so much noise in that <laughs> arcade. Well, that's what triggered the uh, the awakening. Yeah, that's what triggered the it? clicker. Yeah, mm. yeah. And the and the thing is as well, like as far as Riley is concerned, because Riley's been there for quite a while, she thinks it's empty. She doesn't think there's any infected there, so I don't think they would be mm. that worried about making noise. Yeah, mm. agreed. Yeah, the DLC does that a lot worse by having a full segment where you have to go over electric water because there's clickers everywhere. <laughs> Of course, yeah. And they still yeah. carry on having a really noisy time in this mall, even though they're just. Done that. <laughs> but the so, DLC yeah, they... also DLC DLC also does it where you get the kind of climactic moment where it's a horde chasing them, yes. as opposed to just one. Um, but uh, yeah, I think th- th- this this is the really the episode where Bella Ramsey got to first like properly show off what she can do. I love that mm. scene when they're on the carousel. And she's just like looking up at Riley, and there's all you just see this love in her eyes. And it's like you were an 18-year-old actress when you did this. You're fucking good at this. Yeah. <laughs> and they even managed to get that emotion across when they're wearing masks as well. Yeah. The body language is fantastic. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, yeah, they, um, they, they, they get the fateful kiss when is where we find out properly that Ellie is gay. And uh, the internet. Ooh, I don't even want to talk about the neck beards again. It wasn't hot enough. Fuck off. <laughs> They're 14. <laughs> the kids. The kids. It's not a... Oh. I saw it about 500 times that day on fucking Twitter. Oh. <laughs> fuck's sake. Yeah, a, 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 lot, a, a lot of people also seem to have take issue with the fact that Riley's black. And like, it, black people exist? Okay, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Was she not in the... Um, was no, she, she, was, she was in the game. She was. She was, well, the, what she the was the black in the game, then? yeah. Or mixed racist. race. She, there was racist no reason... Racist racist. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah like, I said, like I said before, the big change in it is in the, in the DLC, uh, they they are chased by the horde and then eventually get bitten when they're kind of in, in a last stand kind of situation after the uh, water gun fight. Come on, after the water gun fight, <laughs> that's um, really good. I think this works better with it just being like a single one that catches them by surprise. Same, because it kind of really does highlight that you know even like even despite. Riley thinking she's hot shit working for the Fireflies or Ellie's general toughness, they are still weak. They are still and she's just been She's just been given a shitty job to watch out for them all, hasn't she? And keep their, their little supply base house occupied. That's all she's been doing, making little pipe bombs and stuff. She's been given menial yeah. tasks. But to yeah. Riley, she's like, I'm big shit. I'm hot shit now. I am, yeah. I am the one. But she's not. And you get that really emotional bit where they're kind of sitting next to each other crying. And Riley says, "Let's just let, let let's just go out like uh, make it all poetic and shit, and just lose our minds together." Which that that line still fucking hits hard. That's yeah. a heavy line. And, and that's what I really liked about this very quickly as well is that they've kept all that stuff in. You know, they, yeah, they, they kept so much of the dialogue that. in. It's brilliant. Yeah. Um. They so yes, they tearfully decide to stay together and wait for the infection to take hold. And then we kind of cut back to the present where Ellie kind of gets the resolve. She finds a sewing needle a bit of alcohol, and she stitches Jules' wound. 
in a rather brutal looking scene. <laughs> the um, I I, I seen I seen one thing on TikTok from this one, and it's so fucking wrong. But someone had to like take it, like isolated the sound from that bit. Um, and ba- and basically made because 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 Joel's going oh, no, keep going. You're doing okay. Am I hurting you? And it's just like that. And it's just it sounds so wrong when you just hear it. Oh the no! <laughs> and there was just <laughs> fif- fifteen people on TikTok I seen had that run, and it's just like no, no, dude. Why does it don't. always have to be so crude? I don't get it. It's because Biggie, Pedro Biggie, Pascal's why do your daddy. People have to be so crude. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping you'll send me the link. Oh, yeah, I was just thankfully I didn't just for, uh, research. Just for research, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, le- left me. I know a lot of uh, quite a few people were down. I I really enjoyed it, but it was also one of the shorter episodes, and it kind of then sets up the next episode where we get to when we are in need. Where this one, this one, this is this is the big shit episode of this chunk of it. This was this one's the big in. So uh, Ellie leaves Joel, who is still recovering, to hunt for some food. Now, she shoots a deer, and she tracks the wounded animal to encounters a preacher, David, and his fellow hunter, James. What do we all think of David? <laughs> I, thought they, fellow, isn't I thought they were going to change it. Change him up at the beginning, because we had that um, opening where he was... We didn't see this in the game. He had a community, and he was a yeah. community leader. And he seemed nice, and he was... Kind to everyone, anyway. The the that he was doing the Bible stuff. I mean, even I can get over that if someone's giving me some stew to eat. I didn't know, obviously, where we was going to go in this uh, episode, but it made you, as an audience, ar- me personally, as as a person that knows this story, I was like, when they're going to actually switch him? But if, imagine if you'd not played that, you would have had no I don't idea what. It. What he would, you didn't remember one of the most important parts of the game. <laughs> I, no, I remember that there was the big fight when she got there and then it was really mm. tense. I remember all of that, but I completely mm. forgot that side of the community. I just, what made him so bad, I just, yeah, really didn't remember. I really enjoyed the episode even more for that. But uh, that's yeah. what I'm saying. In the, in the game, there, were, there wasn't a community. It was just a militia, wasn't it? It was just bad, yeah, it bad was, boys, bad men. Mm. It, was just, it was a group, group of raiders. <clears throat> yeah, um, but in this, it was a proper community. There, and and yeah. like David didn't want to do what they were doing. Then there was no choice. The well, scene kind of, of them eating. So I don't, did they all know that? No, no, none of them they, did. They, they no. didn't, did they? Right, that's why I, I didn't think chefs. that wasn't part of the game so, either, was it? Uh, anyway, yeah, we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We'll get to that bit. So yeah, we had the opening <laughs> scene with the um, with with David preaching to the flock, um, and uh, this is where we get Troy Baker playing James. Nice to see him getting on screen mm-hmm. for a change. I bet you were fuming that he had to have shit air in it. <laughs> <laughs> um. No frosted tips roll like that. I bet you were fuming. Are, I was actually like going back. To, I was pleasantly surprised by how. Well, Troy Baker did as well. Yeah, because I, mean, I don't know. Like, so I've, I've never seen him acting in an actual um, TV role. I've only ever heard him voice acting, and sometimes the two don't always correlate in talent. I mean, mm. he, he might be—he might be an egotistical prick, but he is actually a good actor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's let's not all let, let us not forget Troy Baker's attempt at NFTs. Oh, Troy! I forgot <laughs> about that. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, so so we have we have this in the open, and, and and it it sets up something here because uh, the little girl's crying, and she says, "When are we going to bury me, Dad?" Well, not in a Geordie accent. When are we going to bury bury me, Dad? Bury my dad. <laughs> and he, bury me, Dad, man. Bury me, Dad. Um, and David and David kind of cryptically says says to her, "Oh, the ground is too is too frozen. We'll bury him in the spring because he's and not then, gonna bury him." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. But well, that then kind of comes full circle a little bit later on, which we'll get to. Um, when Ellie encounters David and James, uh, isn't David James a footballer? Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so in the game, this uh, this sequence, you had a big shootout when she when uh, after James James goes off to get penicillin so they can trade for the deer, and then like all of the infected come. You have this big shootout sequence, very exciting. You don't get that in this. Instead, you get the quiet chat. Mm. And kind of David just being friendly and quiet and ever the preacher man and reveals that, you know, the, the man who stabbed Joel was a member of his group. Yeah, all of them were, yeah. And yeah. They, 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 they specifically said, a madman's running around with a child. A madman. As if 
Would they have even attacked him? You know what I mean? We don't know. Yeah. Is, is Joel a madman? Probably. I mean, we find that later in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the next, the next day, David and his men have followed it. So, so the, actually, this is the point where they go back and we get the next scene with the kind of congregation. And we find uh, someone's not a very nice preacher, is he? No, someone someone is making um, a big pot of stew, and uh, it's awfully Dave, red that stew. <laughs> yeah, one of David's men just mm. comes out with a bucket of mystery meat. Mm. He mm. says it's venison. venison. <laughs> mm. It's awfully mm. red that stew. Tastes a bit like pork. Um, <laughs> the longest of pigs. The longest of pigs. Mm-hmm. Uh, David goes in and sits um, with the. The, 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 the child who spoke it before and the mother and then starts a prayer but this is right after he slapped her right in the face weren't just a good that were a 70s dad slap that that mm. yeah that, that that was a slap you so hard it changes your ethnicity kind of slap yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then he sits there and the implication uh, she says something along he says to her something along the lines of um you don't need a father when you've got me. Yeah. And the implication is that he's kind of getting into the family. Now, now mm. fucking shut up and eat your dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, What's he, up, I mean, Can't you finish your dad's soup? <laughs> and the thing is, despite the fact that he knows what it is, he's tucking in quite happily. He's got an extra big mm. portion as well. It's um, a, it wouldn't surprise me if he is eating venison. Not the, not the... Yeah. They try, well, try- I think th- th- they lingered on that a little bit because it was a power move as well, like doing that in front of the daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah and it was creepy that they dad. all ate at the same time as well. You know, I like, think he was also telling the congregation history. as well, I slap kids, so don't fucking start. I will slap a kid. Yeah. It is a so, power move. Yeah, the next, the, the next day, David and his little coterie of goons go to look for Joel and Ellie. Not very stealthily, um, though, do they? They just walk down the street. <laughs> I mean, they have the numbers, I guess. They don't technically really know if there's just two of them. Uh, true, they're yeah. They're guessing. I'd be, like, fucking flanking and stuff. Um, yeah. Ellie, having spotted that they're coming, um, gets on the horse and flees and tries to lead them away <laughs> from Jill. Uh, unfortunately, the, ho- the, the horse buys the farm and Ellie gets captured. Yeah. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, Joel wakes up and he is nearly discovered by one of the goons. And we get probably one of the most brutal kills in the show in general when he leaps out of the shadows. Still injured, by the way, like still quite weak mm. and injured. Leaps out of the shadows and just absolutely lays into this guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it's it's fucking hard. It's a hard watch that scene. But the hard the harder watch I think comes from the next scene, which is um, Ellie captured. Now, do you, do you all remember this sequence from the game? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and how one to one this does. is. <laughs> Not quite. This is one to one to the way things go in the game. Yeah, it is. So. Ellie is so Ellie is in a cage. The only difference, the only difference between the game that I played and this show is my Ellie had a Jack and Daxter T-shirt on. Of course she did, because she's stylish. <laughs> <laughs> the difference. That's the only difference. Um, David comes in to try and talk to her, to try and you know he he wants to know where Joel is. Says there's a place for you in our community. Um. And Ellie's just kind of like resisting. She's not it's really placed by him my anything. side. That's the weird thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and, and then and then that's the, the the softly softly approach comes from it. And he places his hand on top of hers, and it's like think of the things we could do together. And every fiber of my skin started running down the A one because, and I had to go back and look at the cutscene the, ori- the original the original the um, oh, it's a David's played by Nolan North, and he does a very yeah. good job at it. Um. That physical gesture is there, but the implication hasn't been set by the rest of the game. Yeah, he's not, the implication he's not. is suppo- the, 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 the the nonce implication is supposed to still be there, but it's much more subtle in the game. And ten years ago, <laughs> and so ten years ago. that's why I don't remember. But we, um, mm-hmm. this is where we get the kind of the 
fuller backstory about David. You know, he was a teacher. Then the apocalypse happened. He found and God. then he st- then he started to root for the Cordyceps because he saw it as a higher power or some symbol of God. But that, I, I suspect that's him talking around his idea that he can manipulate as a preacher. I don't think he believes in God. I think he's doing the same thing as the guy from um, Book of Eli did. Um, uh, what's his name? Famous actor. <laughs> Role of a lifetime. What's his name? I forgot his Gary name. Oldman. Gary Oldman in Book of Eli. He does the same thing. He wants... He wants the power of God in that post-apocalypse to corrupt. Yeah, I mean, because people listen. I think I think David's got a little bit of that that post-apocalyptic preacher that doesn't believe what he's saying. He just knows it's um, yeah, opium for the I'll masses. Yeah, there is there is also the implication that he's that when he was a teacher, he was diddling his students. Absolutely, he'll have been on some register somewhere. <laughs> Which is I bet he loved the fact that the apocalypse said, yes! Oh, yeah, that's probably why he welcomed it, to be fair. <laughs> that morning, yeah. just before fucking Predator exposure knocked on his door, yes! I've got away with it! <laughs> Chris Hansen was on his way over before... But he yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is also where Ellie discovers that, um, that David's been feeding people human flesh because she spots a, 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 an errant ear under the butcher's block. <laughs> why didn't they use that ear? It's good meat. <laughs> Crispy. Make a scratch. Yeah. yeah. If you boil it on like a wok, you can make like a, a prawn cracker out of it. <laughs> oh, God, imagine. God, we're actually talking about this. Mate, the vegetarian even, is talking about that. Yeah, I don't animals, never mind people. I'd be fucking, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be out there nibbling on chuffing bark. <laughs> nah, I, think, I, I, I think if the apocalypse happened, you, you'd you be the first one to go to cannibalism, but it would just be for like people you don't like. You'd go find like a Tory or something like that. And you'd all be like, we've got loads of food. We've got to eat them. We've got loads of food. We have to do this. <laughs> it's Boris Johnson. We've got to we eat them. We have to do it. That's we good eating. It's what he wants. <laughs> no, I'm not killing them first. Anyway. Um... <laughs> Stay at home. Eat your family. <laughs> <laughs> it's what they want. Oh no! Nah. Um, yeah, I I really enjoyed the scene. I thought um, again, Bella Ramsey just absolutely shone in it. Um, who was that? Do you know what? Do you know what's David? really good about really good about her in that that particular scene? The confidence. Bella Ramsey's got really like um, articulate eyes and articulate mm. facial features as well because she's such a slight person. She's a body's not as emotive as a face and. Uh, the confidence in that character's face at that moment when she realised when she, it just dropped and yeah. I, was like, I was like, fucking hell, that is some superior acting. She's, Not a she's lot of re- actors can do that with just a face. A lot of them have to flail their arms about and stuff. Do you know what I mean? She's a very good face actor. Oh, yeah, mm. absolutely. Mm. I just find it fascinating. When uh, the, the scene kind of c- concludes when... Um, David's again. He's got his hands on hers, and she kind of gently puts her hand on on his, and and then she just kind of smiles at him, and then breaks his finger, and it's fucking beautiful. It's a great moment. Don't he pull him into bars? It pulls him into bars, doesn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. He out, absolutely bra- mm. bra- brains her head off. Tries to get the keys, isn't she? Fucking hell. Yeah. And we and we get that immortal line where it says, "Tell tell them the the little girl who broke your finger was called Ellie." <laughs> And he, yeah. he he drops a C bomb. He drops yeah. a hard C bomb. Wasn't yeah. expecting that. Oh, I I, I, I In front wrote of a child. to Ofcom straight away. <laughs> 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 Yeah, um, yeah, because because in the in the in the game he, he calls her he calls her a silly little girl when he does that. No, he just yeah. straight at you, fucking cunt. It's like yeah. wow. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> David, watch your mouth. I mean, Scott Shepard who plays David, he's very good at him. He's playing the sinister side really well. Mm. Mm. And it's 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 that quiet sinister. It's that like, I think it's the same thing that we had with Kathleen earlier, where he's like, up until that point, he hasn't raised his voice. Mm. He's been very quiet and very measured. And it's at the point where she kind of ultimately says no, breaks his finger. That's when he finally loses a bit of control. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, absolutely fucked up. We then cut over to Joel. Joel's going full daddy here. Mm. He's got he's he's got two of the goons tied up in a house, and he's extracting information. And by extracting information, I mean stabbing them in the kneecap. 
it's, it, it does that in the game, doesn't it? And yes. it does that thing that keeps coming back. And this is in the sequel to the game as well, where the map thing. Yeah. It does. It does. It, that, it, uh, the, the whole saga of Last of Us always comes back to this. This is the way where you find anybody. You have two goons tied up <laughs> and they've got a point to a map. And the second person, if it's not the same, the first guy's lying. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's fucking shoot him. Oh, my God. Yeah. They do it every time. So fucking it's good. A- it's a really I'm start intense using scene. That tactic. You should do just yeah. to, just how to get to the shops. Yeah. yeah. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really fucking intense scene, and like Pedro Pascal's on fire with this one. Mm. He does bounce back quick, though, doesn't he? From being on the brink of unconsciousness to stabby Stabberton. Uh, penicillin's very good. I mean, yeah, he's j- he's doped up with he's a fucking two... whole bottle whole bottle yeah. of penicillin <laughs> straight into the. Straight into the wound as well. They usually Straight put penicillin. Yeah. You're usually taking a tablet or something. It's like. <laughs> 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 so that man. So he's peeking all over the show. So, 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 oh, he will have been. <laughs> Makes you need more adrenaline. I think there was a fair bit of adrenaline there as well. Jesus Christ. But, um, yeah, very intense. And it's also a kind of acting that you don't really see for Pedro Pascal very often. He doesn't tend to play the most intense people. Except in he's such, narcos, he's so I think. weird when yeah he's just good in that when you see him in like I watched him on Hot Wings Challenge over day I did too you see him on that and then you see him on this it's like have you got a brother that looks exactly <laughs> like so and much he's older evil doesn't he one. in the show oh my god I just how does he he's a sensational it's actor acting. no but he's like some like and this is gonna sound like I know better than others I'm not an actor but like. Some actors are just themselves. Do you know what I mean? Mm, um, yeah. Like, um, I don't know. Keanu Reeves? Robert, Robert De Niro can just be Robert De Niro because they've put him in because he's Robert De Niro. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But this is not the guy that plays Mandalorian. Do you know what I mean? This is not the guy that's in um, Unbearable Weight of Talent, Massive Talent. That's a completely different fucking human being in my he's, head. Uh- I think this and the work that he's done the last few years, I think Pedro Pascal is going to go down as one of the great character actors. 100%. 100%. He's just nailing because it. Because this, this was brilliant. And I think he really did channel that pure, unbridled dad rage. Yeah. Like, you know, we have um, two dads here. I would assume you, you would do something similar to save your daughters. I watched the interview <laughs> with him. That, mate. And he is not only very humble, but he actually has a fear of fighting even if it's acting he actually oh yeah he don't like it does he he doesn't have that sort of anger in him so to bring that out like that yeah it's uh, very impressive yeah and he's a massive stoner and stuff in real life he's just giggling all the time you know what i mean he's just a he's just a it's just a a lad but <laughs> in this he's a man oh yeah he's an absolute lad um so yeah and, he, and yeah so he gets he gets the location of the town on the map, kills the guy he's got tied in the chair, goes to the other one, and says, he's telling you the truth, says, oh no, I believe him, and just kills him anyway. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> they do change it up a little bit, I love that, that's yeah. fucking funny. I well, believe it, him. It, <laughs> it, yeah, <laughs> it's also a further hint on that, yeah, Joel isn't a good person. He's not a good It's either. definitely sowing the seeds for the finale at this point. Are you yeah. telling me that ex-human trafficker Joel is not a good person? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he's just mur- murdered two people who were tied up and defenceless. Mm, yes, yes. <laughs> Granted, mm. they were looking to kill him first, but, you know. Yeah. You know, it's only that first one in the basement you could say was truly a self-defense kill. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, David and James uh, attempt to carve up Ellie for dinner. Um, and El- Ellie gives uh, David a little bit of a bite, and we get the, don't, uh, it's, I bit you, I'm infected, which causes them to think for a second. Um and like James's composure goes, and she just manages to take the take the cleaver from David and just put it put it straight into Troy Baker's neck. <laughs> <laughs> and he does he does surprise death very well, Troy Baker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've, you're becoming quite a fan of his, aren't you? Only in, only in the in the in this, I still think he's a bit of, he's a very up his own ass. <laughs> but I think in the role that he played, James, there there is a really good I seen. An interview with him on I've seen a clip of it on TikTok. I don't know where the actual full interview is, uh, but he's talking about that scene and how they did it. Because I always like to see the behind the scenes stuff and how they do it. Mm-hmm. Apparently, the blade was magnetic. Yes. So he had he had a prosthetic in his so neck just sticks to with it with a couple of magnets there, um, and then like the piping for the blood. 
And so, yeah, so she kind of swings around. He says it still hurts when it hits because there's still yeah. metal hitting him, but it then kind of hooks on yeah. like that. And then blood splits out. And he said they had to do the scene eight times. He had eight changes of wardrobe in that scene because they kept getting it. And, and it was actually cool because they were in Northern Canada doing it. So he's sat in the floor uh, in, covered in fake blood in the cold. I think he had a miserable <laughs> time filming that. And the, and, the, and the award goes to Troy Baker. <laughs> The hardest working actor in that scene. Um, and that one I've really scene. enjoyed the uh, cameos for voice actors from the game and stuff. I think it's been yeah. brilliant. There's, there's yeah. more further on, obviously. But yeah, it's really nice to touch. I still, I still uh, think the uh, the guy that played Tom is the best one. Just this transformation giant, yeah. into this this big fucking daddy. He didn't look like that originally. He's just like this, I look awesome now. He could have I think played should- fucking Joel. I think the show needs to be renamed just the Daddy of Us. There's just so many daddies the in it. Daddies <laughs> of Us, yeah. I know, I know yeah. Stig's wife has rechristened it Joel. Mm-hmm. We're watching Joel tonight. It's worth it. <laughs> it's, 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 um, good, it's a good name. Yeah, so Ellie makes a break for it and hides in the restaurant, which is where things go, get get to the end of the game. And that's Difficult where I part of the game, that. Game. Yeah. Difficult. Well, yeah, because in, so in the game, you before get caught, you get you to... Well, in the game, so that is a boss fight. But before you get to that boss fight, you've got to traipse through the town as Joel first. Yeah, and, and he's shoot like blizzardy everybody. and shooting everybody, and he's wounded. Um, Which I'm glad they didn't do that in this, because that means he'd be yeah. shooting up just a normal community of innocent yeah. people. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. but when Joel is on his way into town, he does find the um, the butchered human corpses hanging in the barn. Mm. So he knows Again, what you, they're all about. You can't blame the community for this. That's the that's the problem, isn't it? No. It's the people you in def- power abusing that power. Yeah. God, so, stop them. Yeah, David attempts to kill Ellie at this point because Ellie's made it quite clear that she don't want any of him and she don't want to be eaten, which is reasonable. So <laughs> he has, kind of loses shit and attempts to kill him. Oh, Ellie, she's resourceful. She hides, she throws things at him, the place starts to burn down. And she manages to get his cleaver off him, and we get the most cathartic shot of Bella Ramsey smashing this cleaver down. You don't see David's body, you see the blood splatting. It's like someone getting evil dead. Mm, um, a, but she rage is kill that. She is raging and screaming, and it's again, it's fucking Bella Ramsey. Unreal. Mm. Unreal performance from her. Straight after as well, she's just sort of like. That adrenaline rush is still they there. It, and yeah, they do it slightly different, slowly don't they? Trouble. I'm pretty sure in the game, Joel makes it to that diner and, and she's about to get him. And he goes, no, 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 it's me. Pretty sure it's not outside when he sees her. But on this... Yeah, it's, it's, in, it's, in, it's in the diner that Joel gets they let They let her walk out and you just see the state of her with the white backdrop. Mm. Yeah. And you just think, she's just that's, that's PTSD time for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yep. Enjoy. And- Joel, Joel catches up to her. She doesn't recognise him at first. She, she attempts to attack him. Then yeah. he's like, no, no, it's me, it's me. And she starts to cry. And she, she just says he was going to, and he just hugs her. Like, he doesn't let yeah. her finish the sentence. No. And, it's, yeah. and, and it's that line that broke women across the world. It's okay, I've got you, baby girl. Oh, stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. The splooshing. <laughs> how, ma- how, many, how many beats per second was the, uh, the old um, lady box going at that point? The fanny beat. The fanny beat. Yeah, it's uh, it was a beaten. <laughs> oh man. Blast, blast beats. <laughs> Dubstep. <laughs> it went full Skrillex. <clears throat> God. Yeah, this the, 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 this was the heavy episode of this third. Um, I mean, the next we episode's we, we, not. We, 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 we mentioned this one, didn't we, weeks ago, Gadget? We were like, yeah. we we don't know how they're gonna do this, but they did it perfectly. What I have enjoyed is seeing people's reactions to this bit of the story. Yeah, cause we because knew it I don't. Coming. We knew it was coming, but so many people did not have any idea of what was about to happen. Mm. And I, I have also very much enjoyed the right wingers losing their shit over the fact that David was a preacher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to play Why devil's did he have advocate, to be a Christian man. <laughs> to play devil's advocate, I don't think he was a Christian. No, I think you were lying. He was, it. He was using it. So don't worry, Christians. You're all still safe. I can't sure, even do we'll a good with that. I can't even have conviction when I'm saying it. No, no, you don't believe it, man. You just don't believe it. <sighs> I'm I do everyone. have one very, very slight nitpick, and it's very slight. Um, 
in the the during the time skip, I think we lost a little bit of the Ellie and Joel bonding, and I think yeah. to people that haven't played the game, maybe they it kind of could look like Joel's only now bonded with Ellie because she saved his life whilst he, you know whilst he was dying, and it's you only because it, yeah. of that that it, he's gone back <clears throat> without having seen the you know the the kind of slow bond that you do in the game. Yeah, the the thing is right in in this, like we see a couple of nights. An episode with these characters, but it's is it nine months it's taken them? No, it's longer, isn't it? It's, it's, about, so, it, yeah. it, no, it's, it's about a year. They leave in about spring. a year, yeah. Because it was a three f- month time jump. Yeah, but the whole from from Boston to Salt Lake is a year, isn't it? So yeah, they can't do that in the nine episodes anyway. They don't even do that yeah, in the game, course. for God's sake. No. So I I think it's just if I if I, I think the show's very good at expecting the audience to be quite smart and realise that two people travelling yeah. across the country would bond. <laughs> a man that lost <laughs> his daughter and a daughter, a girl that's got no family. Bond. Yeah. It's very simple. It's very easy. And people kick... I've, I've seen people kicking up going, I don't believe it. I wouldn't believe this. They'd be friends after nine hours. They've been together nine hours. I'm like, they've not been together nine hours. You've seen them for nine hours. <laughs> yeah. Fucking pisses me off. Use your brain. Use your brain. So... We then move on to the last episode, Look for the Light. Yep. So we start this one with some brand new content because this is a flashback. with uh, Exclusive Ellie's mother- content. Yeah, Ellie's mother, Anna, is bitten by an infected <clears throat> as she's about to give birth to Ellie. And she's played by Ashley Johnson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who's actually doing the Ellie voice as she's talking in this I one? Know, That's just nice her voice. voice. Yeah. That's just it's, her it's, voice. <laughs> no, it's not quite her voice. It is slightly different to her normal speaking voice. Uh, I don't know. I think she sounds exactly the same. Well, I he, listened to the he, podcast today. She's on the latest uh, Last yeah. of Us official podcast. She's just the same fucking person, <laughs> just a bit older. So we so so, so we see um, Anna kill this infected that's bitten her while giving birth to Ellie, which is impressive in its own stead. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's found by a digitally de-aged Marlene. Who you, I didn't know this, but that's the girl that did that did it in the actual game. Yeah. I didn't know this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't know. I was like, "Fuck!" That's, what, that's, <laughs> that's why her lines were fucking pitch perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. Fuck. So yeah, so she she takes Ellie and um, at Anna's request kills Anna. Um, I will say the soldier, the, the firefly that's with her, cannot follow orders. He's told <laughs> he's told to cover her ears and makes no yep. attempt to. Yep. He had he's one never seen a baby job. before. He might not know where the ears are on a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, do like no. the bit. I do like the little bit where, like, even though Anna knew she was, she was done, she was still confident in her child and saying, "You get them. You get the world. You, go on. You can fuck the world up." Yeah. And then she goes, "You you get them, Ellie." I was like, "Oh." I thought the it was a nice the touch that they, I thought it was a nice touch that she didn't even feed Ellie. Like she didn't want to transfer the virus. Yeah. Well, she could have done now because she's immune. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's actually that, yeah. just, described later on what what that actually did to her. Yeah. Also, that we weren't aware of this, were we? This is not said in the game, is it? No, no. We we, we find nothing out about Ellie's parents because Ellie doesn't know. No, like, like she has like, a letter this, and this... a switchblade. That's all she gets in the game. Yeah, she? yeah. All we know is that Ellie's mother was called Anna. Yeah. Um, but other than that, we, do, we we never find out any of this because Ellie would never know it because Marlene hadn't told her. And we don't know why she's immune either. We never get told mm-hmm. that, do we? Or, or, or does it mention that the doctor did have an inkling that that's probably why? I can't remember. In the game, no, it's. it's I don't just, think it does, does it? It's just she's no, immune. Just, let's have a look at her. Let's open her up. Yeah, open her up. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, we cut forward to the present day, and Joel and Ellie have made it to Salt Lake City. They are kind of pottering through, like scavenging through some cars. Joel, um, Joel seems much more comfortable with Ellie at this point, and this is the proper dad daughter relationship kind of thing going on. He's saying, "Oh, I found this game, and he's got Boggle," and he says, "Do." We, you probably beat me at it. I and fucking kind of love thing. Boggle. Boggle's one of my great. favorites. I love Boggle. <laughs> I hope Ellie... this makes Boggle sell more. People buy Boggle. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie's very distracted throughout the, this whole time. She's a little bit distant, and she's kind of seems like she's reflecting on the fact that their journey's nearly at an end, and she's going to meet these fireflies. Um, they, but they have a you know their good little banter back and forth with each other, and it's very cute and sweet. Um, they cli- they do the skyscraper thing to climb up, and that's where we get the iconic scene, the giraffes. 
mm. which were that was a real giraffe that she was, was a real feeding. giraffe i yeah. know you can just about tell can't you oh, adorable. Yeah. Real I just, giraffe. Just Every- frame for frame like the game yeah. as well i i assumed in that scene that the giraffe was cgi and everything else was kind of like a made-up set no no the giraffe's the only real thing in it everything else is blue screen yeah and i'm mm. like that's a level of commitment to get an actual just fucking had giraffe. Scaffolding, wouldn't they? They'll just had their own scaffolding. Giraffes yeah. are cheap, mate. You can get a giraffe. You can get a giraffe. Cheap. You know that? Do you know that at the social club and get me a giraffe? I can get you if you want a giraffe, mate. I can get you a giraffe. <laughs> I can get you. I tell you what, I can get you a, a dwarf giraffe. It just stays small forever. Trust me. <laughs> there are a lot of giraffe actors in need of work. Yeah, and it's like, them, them, it's like the people that said, uh, "Here, buy this micro pig off me." I'm like, I will do. Two years later, that is no longer a micro pig. <laughs> it's, a full gro- it's a full grown bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, 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 I mean, I, I just kind of imagine like like Bella Ramsey's looking at a call sheet for the day, and it's just like, "Wait, I got to, I got to feed a giraffe today." I've like, actually fed a giraffe. Job ever. I've, 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 I'm one of those lucky few people. I've swam with a dolphin and I have fed a giraffe and. You'd expect giraffes to have like that, you know, that big long mingly tongue. You'd think that's they don't stink like horses or all like that. They're not smelly creatures. Dolphins stink, though. I'll tell you that now. Dolphins stink. <laughs> Fair enough. Giraffes, beautiful, beautiful creatures are giraffes. Oh, they are. It's it, like you say. It just still blows my mind that they got an actual giraffe for it. That's all. It's because yeah. it could be such an easy thing for them to CGI it. We need to find mm. out the name of the actor giraffe because they've always got names that. I wonder what his animals. name was. I mean, I, I, would know, hope, uh, I would hope it's Jeffrey. Yeah, you'd think so. Boy. Every giraffe in the world called Tall Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I discovered an Easter egg today around that scene as well. Um, you wear about the baseball field in the background? No. There's a big sign um, in the background of the name of the, the um, baseball field, and the guy that programmed that scene, developed it, whatever you want to call it, he mm-hmm. put his girlfriend's name as the name of the field. Nice. Oh. So it's like Beverly Clark Field or something like that. And that's in the game, and they've reproduced that yeah. <laughs> in the TV show with exactly the same name. And his mind was blown because he put it as an Easter egg for his girlfriend, and he doesn't think the uh, creators know the name of that is actually an Easter egg that he put in. Ruining Valentine's Aww. Day for all other men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. So we have, we, we, we have this conversation between the two of them as they're kind of watching this kind of herd of giraffes go, which would obviously have come from Salt Lake City Zoo. Um, and Ellie says basically that you know, well, Joel tries to say to us that we can just turn around and go back to Tommy's. And I was like, no, it has to. This journey has to mean something. We don't quit on this. But then after that, I'll follow you wherever you you go. Yep. Because I think Joel's worried that things aren't going to come. That's come her way of us. saying I love you, and we'll be we'll we'll be a team forever. Yeah. Because mm. they, they don't specifically say I love you to either of them, do they? Throughout no. the whole saga. They move on to a checkpoint, a ruin checkpoint, and we get a little bit of kind of uh, post-infection day lore from Joel because he talks about that he was in one of these camps. Mm. And we actually get the explanation from where his scar came from. And we'd all assumed that it was like from the side of a stray bullet when Sarah got shot. Yeah, because he got hit in the shoulder, he got hit inside. Mm. Don't know. But no, Joel um, explains that basically a couple of days after Sarah died at the start of it, he didn't think he could continue. And he put the gun to his head and he was ready to go. And then his hand twitched for some reason. He ended up still sh- effectively shot himself in the head, but just in a way that only needed a couple of stitches, not a whole new brain. Yep. And, he and Neil Druckmann to- has confirmed that is canon. Yeah. And I thought that was a nice moment. And mm. then Ellie, Ellie asks him, so what... Um, so it, it seems that time heals all wounds. And he says something along the lines of, only recently. No, it's, well, imply- it wasn't time that did it. It, it wasn't, wasn't time. That did. It wasn't time that did it. Yeah. As if, as like you that did it. You did this. Yeah, and it's this really sweet, my kid awkward now. moment. It's basically the closest of them saying to each other that I love you. Yeah, you know? they didn't. They can't. They, those two characters can't do that. Do you know what I mean? They can't broken. do that. They. He never wants to say, "I am your dad. You are my yeah. daughter." Mm. They'll never. God, it also so... shows at this point that they are so close to each other that he can kind of openly talk about Sarah. Mm. Yeah, because uh, and, like, and talk about Sarah's more death. Word. One more yeah, word. Yeah. That's what you used to say, didn't he? It? But it's yes, it's it's like oh yeah, Sarah, Sarah uh, didn't make it before that. You know what I mean? Day two, yeah, something like that. And there's reference to the uh, guitar teaching as well. Yes, yep. <clears throat> which Candy was hoping for apparently on the latest episode of Modern Escapism. Yep. Yeah, I got my two wishes. 
Yeah. Stig didn't get his wish, though, because there is no pallet swimming. Oh, right. yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm so glad. Because this bit at <laughs> the game is that, it's that tunnel, isn't it? The fucking tunnel with yeah. the, the five chuffing boomers and... <laughs> Lotus or whatever. There's five of yeah. them. There's a five there's boomers. A, five boomers. <laughs> <laughs> five people in their mid sixties kicking yeah, going, off about, <laughs> about five one of them. <laughs> it's. I think that's one of the weakest part, parts of the game, and I know that it's just like that's supposed to be the last boss type thing. Yeah, just throw three at you or whatever. I hate that section in that game. It's a really tough it. section. Um, as they as they go as they go to move on, they are knocked out by a flashbang and the fire Fucking flies. Nerve take them. gas, mate! They've done in. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a flash. Yeah, it's a flashbang. But then I know it's it, 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 fucking ridiculous. It is ridiculous, and that what I thought actually was ridiculous was that the way they shot that hit to the back of Joel's head. It was so yeah. fucking heavy handed. Mm. I know. It's, it's almost like you see Pedro's. You almost see like Pedro's head bounce off the ground with it. It's, yeah. oh, wow. Pedro, up, man. Pedro Joel <laughs> wakes up in hospital uh, with Marlene standing over him and several armed guards around. And, ex- and she explains it was a mix-up. They didn't know who they were. They didn't expect to survive. Yada, yada, yada. She says um, something we- along the lines of, we, we had a team of like five people uh, just to try to keep Marlene alive. You guys did it with just two of you. And he went, hey, it was mainly her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Which, I mean, to be fair, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was the driving force keeping them going. He wanted it. he wanted to stay in uh, Jackson. Yeah, he did. So Marlene then explains what they plan to do with Ellie. That Ellie's going in for surgery. And that they want to take a sample out of it that they could make a cure for or a vaccine with. But then Joel quite rightly points out that cordyceps is a fungal infection that grows in the brain. Mm-hmm. So to get a sample, they would have to cut a head open. Yeah. And I have issues with this, or, or rather just the, what the Firefly's doing, but I'll go into that later, because I want to get through the rest of the episode. Yep. So uh, Marlene basically threatens him, uh, says, don't do anything, get out of here, take his pack, and sends him off with some guards. So I do like in this bit how, how quiet he is. Oh, yeah, he's mm. fuming. Hey, watch his eyes as well, because I've watched it twice this episode. Watch his yeah. eyes. He's looking at anything he can use to fuck him yeah, up with. He's like, yeah. hype. Pipe. Okay. No. No. And then he slows down every so often. Just have a. Is there anything here? Ah, oh, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> he just does his thing. And That's yeah, we so get good. we get to the point where he's being led down the stairs by a couple of fireflies, and he explodes into action. Turns the gun around, shoots the one behind, kills the one next to him, takes the guns, and it's a fucking bloodbath. Mm-hmm. He gets that really good rifle that you get on that section in game as well. They only. Time you get that rifle in the game. Oh, the M60. So fucking good. So fucking yeah. good. And and what they, they've done a good job of emulating what the level looks like in the game. Like when he gets to that kind of final corridor, it looks exactly like that final corridor yeah, in the yeah. game. The only thing it doesn't have the alarm sound, the, the famous you know, the red light alarm thing that's really famous in that scene. Good because it goes on for fucking ages does, and turns it? your ears but off. I still think it's quite a. A poignant thing. You yeah. know what I mean? But yeah. So, yeah, Joel murders his way <clears throat> meticulously because he makes a point of killing everybody. He doesn't want to follow it. He doesn't want to be followed, mm, does he? Yeah. No, even the ones that are surrendering. So there mm. we go. Another couple of m- proper murders. Yeah. Um, murder. And he walks into the operating theatre yep. where the doctor says, I'm not letting you take her. And he goes to reach for a scalpel and he just flat out shoots him in the head. I didn't um, even hear that. I didn't even hear that in game when I did. I just shot him as soon as I walked in. <laughs> Bang! Get off me, kid! <laughs> <laughs> you did. Nurses, doof, 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 they're got an all. <laughs> I did go. like that he let the nurses live. And did you? Did it, I don't know if anybody noticed one of the nurses was Laura Bailey. I have. Yes. Yeah, I didn't yeah. notice at the time. I saw him in hindsight. Yeah, yeah. I, saw, I saw a tweet. Yeah. So he he picks up Ellie, like unhooks her, picks her up, and heads down Come to on, the baby girl. garage. Come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. Let's get you home. There's a bit of a focus on the uh, the dead surgeon, wasn't there? Just for a yeah. moment, it just yeah. lingered on him. I have no idea why. Nope. The, maybe just to show how good a shot Joel actually is, gets him right under. That the must eye. be it. That must be it. <laughs> <laughs> like, but this, this was an execution. It wasn't just a kill. <laughs> um, so we head downstairs into the parking garage, where Joel heads towards a car, and Marlene 
has her last stand with Jewel, trying to convince her, uh, uh, trying to convince him to not take Ellie. He weren't even like looking at her properly; he was just staring through her. It's like Marlene, fuck off! He's gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew this it. I was negotiation like, it's not going to go well. Even in the game when I first played, I'm like, she ain't walking away from this. <laughs> like, he's looking straight through that woman, like, you're just in my way. You're just in my fucking way. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Jo- Joel isn't actively listening to what she's got to say. And, she, and, she's, and she's pleading a case. She's saying, like, you know, Ellie is the, you know, everyone's lost everyone. Ellie's the key to, um, uh, to curing yeah. the cordyceps infection. Um, and Joel's having none of it. He, the gun's hidden under his hand, which is under her gown. Um, as he didn't carrying blink either when he shot her, did he? Didn't blink. He just guns oh, her down. Oh, bang! Oof, frightening. He's a yeah. baddie. He is such a baddie. He, I mean, he does put her out of her misery. I will say that. No, because he don't want her to follow him. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say was, there's was, a reason behind to, that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's pleading. She is pleading for her life, and and, and he just says, "You would just follow me and just bang." She's go <laughs> bang. He's such a brutal. I was trying to be kind her. to him, but yeah, that is. He's not. He's not a nice bloke, mate. No. <laughs> we can say this. He's but it's true, though. She would. She would. She wouldn't give up. Yeah. Daddy, buddy. So we then That's cut to is. like a day or so later. They're on the road. Um, Ellie wakes up and Joel lies to her. Says the fireflies have found other immune people and were unable to create a cure. Her immunity didn't mean anything. And you can see he doesn't want to turn around and look at her. He's yeah making it up on the spot and he's struggling. And Ellie's looks heartbroken. Yeah, they the car the car eventually gives up. They hike up towards Jackson, and Ellie expresses her survivor's guilt and kind of explains about Riley. Um, and the fact that she had to kill Riley, effectively. Yep. That were her first kill. Yeah. Uh, she insists Joel swear his story about the Fireflies is true. And when he does so, she just says, okay. And we cut to black, and that's the end of the series. What? What could happen next? Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> so, only, if there only was one way I could find out. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. Uh, I want. I want to loop back to the um to to to, to what I said. What I was alluding to before. So, I I was talking with my mother about this last night, and she was disappointed. She thought it was a nihilistic and bad ending. Um, and I, <laughs> it I, I was. I, well, yeah, it was. It's a, and it is how the game ends. But I kind of had to go in. It says there was no cure. You can't cure a fungal infection. Also, this doctor, quote unquote doctor. Mm-hmm. It's 20 years out of true, proper, clean medicine, working for a terrorist group. I mean, you can, either, he, you, can, you can bleep this bit out. He's a vet. <laughs> he's not a doctor. He's not a brain surgeon. He's, he's a vet. But, but he, <laughs> either way, he's not a brain surgeon. 20 years away from like anything, uh, anything you could consider normal medicine. Mm-hmm. He has no fucking chance of being able to f- create a vaccine out of whatever's gone on in Ellie. Also, do you think Fedra would let them distribute an inoculation created by the terrorists? <laughs> what I mean, this was, the, the, what the Fireflies were doing here was a fucking murder because they had no better solution to it. Mm. They had hope above ability. And also, it's a fucking bad look on Marlene that she put the trust in this doctor. I, yeah, without spoiling much, it goes into it a bit more. There's more to it in the uh, part two. No, no, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, based on what's presented on it. Yeah, know? for people that, d- that don't know that, it just looks like, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But like, again, you can you can spoil and warn this bit if you've not played part two, listeners. No, 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 but we're not talking part two. We're not going to get into part two in any of this. Okay, okay, but okay. The um, it's explained anyway. Most- yeah, it probably. Is. I think it, it's because they live in dire circumstances. Everybody, whether you're Fedra, whether you're Fireflies, just the world is shit. Mm. So then, just Ellie represented. Straws. She yeah, she represented some form of hope that their lives could change. And yes, she would have had to have sacrificed her life to potentially give. Like you say, would they have got the vaccine? We don't know. But it just kind of, yeah. I mean, it was in the game. I thought it was an amazing choice. I I, I quite yeah. rightly did the same thing. And I, I think it was delivered really well in, in the game. Maybe slightly better than the show pulled it off. But, yeah, tough choice. Well, no, right I think down. the show actually did a really good uh, 
I think it is, but I, I think just the particularly the ending because it finished in the car, didn't it? Yeah. I remember right. No, it was no, no, the, no, no, the no, no, no. It finishes no, off fin- on that mountain. Yeah, it finishes on oh, the hike. Is it? Yeah, ah, yeah, I thought it was in the Over, car. Overlooking, when she the, at him overlooking and, Jackson. Because they look, you know, when she's still groggy from the anaesthetic and she's asking him what happened, and he explains his version of the story. There's just for a second she looks at him like I don't believe you, and then she okay. sort of turns. She turns over, and I, I thought don't think she anyway. I don't think she believes in the car. In yeah, but in the car, I'm sure she was looking at him in the rearview mirror when he delivered that line. In my memory, I thought that's no, where it ended. No, I didn't realise yeah. they went up on the, the mountain. Because the game uh, does all that. You get in the car, then you, there's more gameplay walking up the mountain for a bit, isn't there? Yeah, or yeah. The it's when, it, it's, it's when Jules... Thought, is this game not finished yet? I was like, fucking hell. Yeah, it's because when Jules talking about, like, um, like uh, his daughter would have liked Ellie and... Yeah, you know, you would have you would have made each other laugh and that stuff like that. Oh, okay, so all cool. that stuff okay. there, it's yeah. like the epilogue. Yeah, mm. yeah. But yeah, it's like I think a lot of people seem to think that Joel is supposed to be the hero of the story, and he's he's not. <laughs> he's, not. <laughs> he's fucking not. And he's the thing not. is, like, the game doesn't. The, the, I don't think the game makes as good an attempt to show how bad a person Joel actually is. The TV show does more of it, I think. Like the amount of times you see Joel kind of kill an unarmed person, you don't really see that much in the game because it's got that um, you're that the active participant pseudo narrative dissonance, hasn't it? Where he's just killing so many people that yeah. by the time you get to the end, you don't you, you feel because you're he's your avatar that you're the goody killing the baddies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which the, is not the show does it ha- a lot better. I think the show does Joel it has his reasons, though, doesn't he? Because that's, that's his loss, means. it's changed him. You know, he was at his, you know, oh, literally yeah. about to blow his head off. Yeah. And then I'm not- he's got another reason to keep going now, hasn't he? Even there's though his no, brother's still no alive. There's no right or wrong. There's no good or bad. It's just people trying to yeah. survive and people's yeah. situations sometimes clash. No, yeah. no, he's a full on baddie. I'm, I, I'm, I'm in the camp that he snapped. He's gone. He's just snapped, and that, yes, he, I don't don't get me wrong. He loves this girl. He loves his brother. He wants to be peace at peace. But a man that can live with what he's just done to me, he's not really a man anymore. It's a beast. It's, yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's such it's a, a selfish selfish act. Yeah, it's the the only resolution to this story is the one that's on Joel's terms, not on anybody else's. Exactly, because mm. because the main yeah. thing is ne- neither Joel n- nor Marlene asked Ellie. What Not her preference was. Yeah. Exactly. Ellie exactly. was probably very ready to die for the hoop of a cure. Yeah. She never got a choice. But ne- ne- neither of them had the fucking guts to ask in case they got the answer they didn't want. Oh, Marlene mm. and Joel are baddies. It's a very good Absolutely. point. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. The only so, goodie in this is fucking Ellie. She's the goodie. Yeah. Ellie's the hoop. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. that. So, yeah, the last episode I... Thought there was a tiny little bit of disappointment for me in it, and just the fact that it was so short. I think they could have built up a bit more tension. Oh no, I think it was fine. Or, 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 may, or maybe tried to like do a little bit more another infected scene because we only had the clickers in two episodes. I, want I don't need them. I'm with Candy about the the relationship. I think the game was so centered and applauded for that, and I I think because it's only nine episodes long. I mean, God, if they've been given two more episodes or something like that, just to build. A little bit more of how their relationship developed. I think that is what's missing for me. But I've yeah. said it before. I think I've it's good. It I think it's good in the show. But I think it's just yeah, missing. Yeah, it is. But in the the, the game, so only quick. only another like four, four maybe five hours more than the actual show. And yeah. most of that four or five hours is them going, "Come on!" Ah! 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 <laughs> That's not really character building, is it? The but, character building no, in, but, the, in this show is the character building bits from the game. You know what I mean? It's not like the missing, original. I don't plan. think they're missing anything. The original plan? No, they're not. But I mean, the, the original plan was for it to be a movie, and you can't get no, that a movie story sucked. in a movie. A movie so I think have worked. doing this is obviously a great idea, but I just think it should have been one or two episodes longer. Just I don't know what else. I don't know more. what more you'd have wanted. Like just them fishing. Do you know what I mean? What do you want? It's just their journey together. I think it's just the the because in the game, enough. if you remember, Ellie learns more about the world because she wasn't in the world at that time and Joel sort of talks to her more think, that she sees posters on the wall about a movie that she's not seen he tells her I just think a yeah, little bit of that is missing mm, that's all. I, I think I, th- I think we'll I think we'll get more of that in the next season because you get more of that in The Last of Us Part 2 yeah way more mm. so that's why it's a I 25 think, hour game yeah like 
in the, realistically, you don't get that much character build, that much more character building between them in the original game. You don't outside outside of the just the incidental dialogue they have while you're in gameplay. Yes, mm. while you're actually so, it's just my memory are, playing tricks yeah, on me. There's 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 lots of dialogue of them just kind of chatting shit while you're sneaking around or hunting around places. Mm-hmm. But I mean, this is basically just kind of turned every cutscene into the TV series. Yes, that's what it's, exactly yeah, yeah. what it's done. You got to remember that the, the, a lot of the incidental dialogue in the game is is like Joel saying, "Watch out for that tripwire." That's not character building. That's not bonding. Do you know what I mean? Oh, oh no, I get that. Here we go. A bloat was coming. That kind of thing. It's, oh it's yeah, not yeah, that yeah, much. yeah. That's a, that, that's what he says when a bloat is here. We go, love. Bloat is <laughs> bloat is on the way. Bloat is <laughs> coming. Chuck, chuck a palm cake, Adam. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. But it's it's. I don't think they missed that many beats from the actual no. plot. At all. I think I, I think the stuff they added worked well. The stuff they cut out was probably for the best. I think we got more lore in this than the actual game. Like we got the stuff with uh, India. You know what Jakarta. I mean? We got the Jakarta. Yeah, sorry. We got we got the, the all the other stuff. We got the excellent episode three, which built up Bill from one of the worst characters in the game to one of the best characters in well, the they, show. They actually made him a character. Yeah, <laughs> I think we got a lot more in this, and I think people and have... they pissed off the right wing people at the same exactly. time. Exactly. What do you want? I think we we got more from the grunts in uh, when they got from um, one of the other Kansas LZs, City. Kansas City. We got none of this in the game, and I think people yeah. are misremembering what the game actually did. The sequel, on the other hand, what Biggie's saying, just wandering around the world, you're getting so much dialogue, so much chatter, so much like. World building. The first game is not that, uh, not as. I only played it like a month before the show came out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I haven't played it for about 10 Very years. Very fresh or whatever, to it. When it came it's out. not as. It's. I think the sequel makes people think that, ah, that's where it. The first one were like, not quite. Not quite. Yeah. It's not so, like uh, God of War, where God of War, whenever there's no fighting, they're chatting, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not like that in Last of Us. It's not like it at all. So, yeah, the. Um, What's everyone's general thoughts then on the season as a whole? I said but fucking ten out of ten. I think I loved it. Yeah, yeah. really good. There's I allowed to be. Of... There's allowed to be lesser episodes. There's allowed to be. It's just how life is, isn't there? If every meal were your favorite meal, you never have a favorite meal. Yeah. So yeah, I think it was fucking ten out of ten. That is, we've said it before. This is the standard. Yeah, I can't think of one TV show or any kind of media that's come from a from a game that's followed so closely and worked so well. Mm. It's because they had the games director doing this. That's yeah. right as well. I mean, he was I mean, there I mean, as a producer. I mean, also, you can, I mean, you can maybe make a slight criticism of the game itself. The game's very much like an HBO series in general. I yeah, think everyone yeah, said that yeah. when it first came out. Absolutely, like, it's not the most gamey of games to turn into. Mm. Yeah, TV look show. at the difference between The Last of Us and Uncharted Two. Yeah, <laughs> Uncharted yeah. Two is game, game the game. Yeah. <laughs> and we all saw how well Uncharted worked out as a film. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> because that is game the game. Yeah. Mm. No, I, mm. I, yeah, I, I love that. I think I think it's a new it's a new high standard for like video game adaptations. Um, yeah. And it's going to be a tough one to follow, isn't it? Because obviously we talked about this before about what other games could make a good TV show. You got Fallout coming. I mean, this has raised the bar now. And we got Fallout the coming. We know... They'll have to get Amazing Kills out, won't they? Now? That's it. <laughs> we know. We, we know. There's a, there's a Horizon Zero Dawn series in the go, which I think that'll fall flat on its ass. Mostly because the story of Horizon Zero Dawn's not very good. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I, I just that's think more style got the over substance that game. That's got to be um, one of the. That'll be the most expensive show ever made. Look at all them dinosaurs in it. Yeah, it's gonna be too expensive. Um, God of War. Fall, Fallout. <laughs> Fallout can work because you can it's show you very similar like to shit. this. But it's you can have these little flashbacks to what happened in the, yep. the vault and things like that. You could build on the stories that yep. are in the little computer terminals. I think Fallout will be much better. Horizon yeah, has a, a bit, chance to really work. It's going to be a billion dollars just to make the show. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to do about CGI, then big tall necks and running around? And Are they going to get the, the, the lady that plays Aloy to play this? Because it's exactly the same person. You know what mm. I mean? You could do I it. Don't, no, I don't think they'll get Ashley Birch to do it. I think mostly because Ashley not? Birch... I know I she doesn't look mo- like her that much. No, I think it's mostly because Ashley Birch is is quite open about the fact that she's not an athletic person. It'll be an athletic right. role. Yes, that's true. Like I think she, I think she. Don't quote me on this, but I actually think she has like a persistent health issue. Right. Right. Okay. Well, so, Candy, you've got red hair. 
I'm up for you it. Be, you could be Aloy. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll speak to my agents. I could be Aloy. Yeah. Don't just single her out. Okay, you it's could great, be Aloy if you want, yeah. mate. No, you could be Silence if you've ever played that game. He's bold. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, mm. yeah, but yeah, any any kind of adaptation needs needs to now kind of meet this standard. I just mm. don't want to wear the words "we're adapting this into a movie." I want to wear the words "we're adapting this into a game, into I a TV show." It, sorry, I think that's the um, way it's going to go now. After if people after seeing that, that that's going to well, be the way. It's, that's, the, been, that's the trend of it anyway. There's been a few rumors because. <laughs> um, What's his name? Who was doing the Metal Gear film for? Uh, what's his Jordan? Jordan? He was gonna. He was someone. He was. He was gonna direct the Metal Gear movie, and he's been tweeting a lot, a lot about this show. I think Jordan Voigt Roberts, maybe, might be him. Someone like that. And um, he's been tweeting about Last of Us a lot. I'm like, is he gonna? Is he gonna do a Metal Gear show? Oh. Jordan Vo- Jordan Voigt Roberts. Yeah. Yes, that's it. I've never gonna- even heard of him. Oh, he, he did. He's done a few things, yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I, if imagine if we get this on the old um, HBO, and then Metal Gear turns out fucking come out. Oh baby. god, he, he he directed Kong Skull Island. <laughs> it's Skull Island's good. Do you know what I was watching? I was watching Godzilla vs Kong just before we started recording this. <laughs> That's oh, <God>. not good. <laughs> yeah, That's a lot of shit. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, apparently, that's what I want to hear. If, if they say we're adapting the game to a TV show, I'll be more like, okay. And Do you think? Like, is... Wait, hang on what? a second. I didn't know. I didn't know this. Apparently, Oscar Isaac has been tipped for Solid Snake. Yeah. Oh, I like heard two, that. Yeah. Two, two years ago. I'm you just confirmed it in an interview. He confirmed it in an interview. Oh, did he? Didn't. Do you know think that. then? Speaking of um, Horizon, then if the story isn't so great, maybe that would make a better film than TV show. Yes. Because you could yeah, more money that, into actually. it. 20th Century Fox, Horizon Zero Dawn, just blast all the things and just make it look like Jurassic Park, Mad Max, you know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, and that would look good on the big screen. It 3D. would look good, yeah. But a show, what was like, oh, fuck it, high concept, a lot of money shows like Westworld, for instance, killed that, didn't they? So, it. Uh, place, it. so PlayStation Production, so this is every movie and show project so far list. So we've mm-hmm. had Uncharted, we've had The Last of Us. They're making Gran Turismo. That's fine. Don't, That'll just don't be a car right show. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but well, that's, I think that's actually a film rather yeah, than TV Yeah, that'll series. be fine. It'll be fine. We, we, we like car films sometimes. Yeah. Twisted Metal as a TV series. That's that one weird. had no fucking clue how they're going to make that TV series. <laughs> no. Don't get that's that. Uh, God of War as a TV series. Yep. Yep. Uh, Horizon as a TV series. Who's going to play Kratos? Because he's going to be topless all the way through it. And yeah, I don't think you get Christopher Judge to do it because he's, he's got health issues as well. And he's, he's like too a, old. Like, he's knacked his legs or something. Uh, Gravity Rush is apparently getting converted to a TV series. That should be That'd a CGI be one. Anime. one. Yeah, it oh, wait, no, like no, an so, no, sorry. Feature film. But even then, wow. it should be an anime. Yeah, it should be. Uh, Jack and Daxter, apparently. I don't know where that one's come from. Well, again, you could just make like a you movie. could make an animated film, couldn't you? Jack and Dash. Yeah. Jack and Dash is actually if you let's not remember like the, the sequels and stuff. The first one's a lovely little platformer. I mean, lovely. if you go and back, you had like Final Fantasy, didn't you, with Advent Children? I mean, with the whole CGI. Yeah, that great. And... Then it looked great. Yeah, um, and then director Chad Stileski, who do, who's done re- most recent ones, John Wick Chapter Four. Um, the he's fourth one. Yeah, uh, he's. I haven't, he's seen, try- I, I haven't seen the second one. <laughs> he's. I think he's trying to drum up interest in Sony and making a Ghost of Tsushima film. Oh, well, that'll sell nice. itself, though, won't it? Yeah, mm. historical epic. That'll yeah. just sell itself. And apparently, wants to do it entirely in Japanese, and it to be yeah. done on the island of Tsushima itself. Yeah, Ooh, that'll nice. sell itself. It'll be massive. So. Yeah, as long as, as long as Tom Cruise is not in it. <laughs> <laughs> the Last Samurai. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, That's my mate's favourite film, and then I, I had to tell him about cultural appropriation and stuff. He's <laughs> like, 
what? He was like, yeah, this is a thing, mate. And he goes, it's based on real life. I mean, it's not based on real life, mate. This is not based on real life. It looks Wait, like it's didn't... based on real life. Wait, you're telling me a white boy didn't, did not come from America in the 1400s to save <laughs> and, the and samurai. take over the samurai <laughs> <laughs> and win. Sure. <laughs> Show them how to do their own things. Anyway, yeah. we've gotten wildly off topic with this one. But Can't wait for yeah. that. Any final thoughts on this one before we wrap it up? Yeah, Last yeah. of Us Season 2 is going to be brill. Well, they have going to blow like, people away, isn't it, who yeah, know yeah. the game? <laughs> Especially from the maybe the first episode? Um, Maybe second episode. The, yeah, the, the, they've already... Lower them in. Already, Lower them in. <laughs> They've already they've already said that it'll probably have to be split into two seasons. That one, it's so there's too much game in there to do in one season. There's two games in that game, that's why. Yeah, uh, mm. I'll be interested to see who they would cast as Abby. I don't think they they could cast um, Laura no. Bailey as Abby. She's uh, oh no, not tall enough or muscly no. enough. <laughs> no, <laughs> mm. they'd have fact, to like. She is the opposite of Abby. They'd have She's to get like, like a WWE wrestler woman that's really good at acting and nuanced. There's not many. So, <laughs> not many have got nuance. <laughs> wait, are you are, 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 are you not telling me that Ronda Rousey in Fast and Furious 7 was not the greatest rule of a lifetime? <laughs> Bring back Carino. I <laughs> forgot she were in it, to be honest. Oh, God. <laughs> you just reminded me. <laughs> oh, nah. Nah, 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 yeah, nah. Yeah, I think, I think people are going to like, like part two, it, obviously people have not played the game, but... There's a lot of questions answered. There's a lot more um, monsters. It's a bit more zombie heavy. You know what I mean? A bit more Cardiacep heavy than the first game as well. Yeah. Uh, I think I think I have a longer, like 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 I said, I've, I've two seasons lined up back to back. Just keep them coming, and I think I think it could be a lovely three season show, and that's it. Yeah, I think I think with what they've set down here, I don't think they need to expand it outside the games. No, they don't. Is I enough. think they've proved that they've proved that they can adapt the games perfectly. Because my original thing was like, if they were going to do a Last of Us series, maybe not do Joel and Ellie's journey, do something else in the world. But mm. this has actually worked out really well. Mm. So I think they should just go with the narrative. You've still got Druckmann there on board. Mazin's really good. Just get yeah. them to do go through this again. Do all the cutscenes again. There's a lot more cutscenes in this game anyway, so they will have to split it up. There's I know there's been talk parallel of, uh... stories in this in this game. You know what I mean? There's been talk of Bella Ramsey maybe not looking old enough for the sequel, but they've already said that they won't recast unless she doesn't want to do it. No, she, I don't, she I, will look old enough in the next. She will. I mean, I mean, they, they did really good work with just makeup for aging people. You know, Pedro Pascal's playing ten years yeah. older than what he is. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Anna Tov was playing like twenty years older than she is to play Tess. Mm-hmm. So yeah. they can they can they, they can make Ellie up. I think I think what they'll probably ask Bella Ramsey to do is maybe hit the gym and get a little bit jacked for it because Ellie's. Quite muscular. She's in athletic, second. isn't she? Yeah, she's, she's yeah. quite. She can. She can handle us them. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, and I, th- I think if she, if she, I, I, don't, I don't want to suggest what Bella Ramsey should do and not do with her own body, but you know, if she, if they send send them to the gym, you know, bulking her up slightly will make her look older. Yes, because I yeah, think I think the thing yeah. is she's because she's got. She's still kind of got that little puppy fat on her face, effectively. Yeah. That's why. That's why she can get away with playing a fourteen-year-old. Mm. Yeah, um, I've, uh, they've got. You've got to expect as well. I mean, um, Tommy's got a bigger role in this as well, which he's he got to get. He's got to get ready. You've got to. Mm-hmm. You've got to come in your own because he's think, not. He's brilliant. Gabriel Luna, yeah, I think yeah. Gabriel Luna can do it. I think he can do it as well. He's he, he's brilliant, especially in that episode when they when they met up at Jackson. I was like, okay, Gabriel, you got this. Because I just remember him from Terminator. Whichever it was, <laughs> Dark Fate. Salvation, wasn't it? Salvation yeah, one of them. Fate. One of them, and he was he was one. Of, oh god, he was so bad in that. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, but so was everybody. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so going back to the yeah. amount of seasons, and without sort of spoiling anything, and it can just be a yes or no answer. Do you, is there um, is there scope for there to be a Last of Us game number three? Yes. Yes. They've already announced. They've already oh, said something this week, news. haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, they've no, no, they're, they're, they're working they're on, but they haven't confirmed something. what it is. They haven't said what yeah, it is, but they they're very excited. Project. If they're clever, mm. if Naughty Dog want money, and they're clever, and Neil Druckmann's up for it, turn it into a trilogy and get it out quick while there's still fervor mm. about it. That's what I'd do. Because he said he's never going to do another Uncharted, didn't he? He said he's done with that. Yeah, because there's no reason to do another Uncharted. Yeah, because it's completely full circled, and there's five games. Yeah. 
No need. But I think Last of Us Part 3, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Yeah. I think, I think, I think we could see that before end up PlayStation 5's life. But I think they said what they're working on next is a PlayStation 5 thing. So, yeah, let's see what happens. But, yeah, this has been our little spoiler cast. Uh, thank show. you all for listening. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this as much as we enjoyed the show and enjoyed ranting about it. Um, make sure to listen to the main pod every Thursday. Make sure to listen to Score Cheap every two weeks. Hit the Patreon, patreon.com slash modern escapism. You know, we, we need to keep Oodles fed. Just £5 per month plus VAT can keep, can keep him eating biscuits. You don't even need that. Quiddy. <laughs> don't sell here, Oodles, man. Oh, do God, I'm so hungry. Oh. Tell it's tea cakes. There we I'm go. so hungry. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yes, thank you for listening. We'll see you on the main pods. And oh, what, what's going to be our next spoiler cast? What, 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 we need to have a think about that, don't we? What's coming up? Oh. Are you are you instead going back to doing Disney stuff? Uh, not Disney stuff, Marvel stuff when it comes Yeah, out. we will be. We've got Kenny Potter coming very soon as well. And oh, that's, that's the right. Yeah. only one. Yeah, once Biggie gets Fast and Furious 8 watched. Just get it done. This week. Um, now, after this. this. Fucking hell. Hang on, Biggie. Watch it. You mean you're already I'm going to. Room. I'm going to. I'm going to. Right. Anyway, regardless of that. Yes, thank you all for thank you all for listening. And we'll see you in the future for another spoiler cast when we have something to spoil. Ta-ta for now. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.